and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a frame. You can render that as well. I've cut three basic elements here. They're ungrouped. I can select them all and go to extensions, render and frame. And I've got a menu popping up. I'll put it right here. Let me check the live preview and you can see a frame is rendered for all these objects. If you want to change the color, you can use the wheel, but keep in mind that you have to play around a little bit with the opacity below. So if it was 100, just go down and then up to 100 again. And only then is the new color rendered, but it's just part of this extension. So let me make that black again, 100% for opacity. So the first parameter is the width which is simply the thickness of the frame. It's set in pixels and we can also adjust the roundness with the parameter below. So let me change the values here a little bit. You can see we've got a round frame. If you go too high, you can see that your elements might exceed the roundness, especially when you've got squares. So keep that in mind. You can set the position to inside as well. Right now it's outside. We've got a drop down menu here. So if I put that to inside, you can see that especially at the circle. So it overlaps now the shape that should be framed by this extension. We can also add a fill to it. Let me make that red. Right now it's at zero for the opacity, so let me increase that. 100 obviously gives you a complete fill. So this is what this function does. And obviously you don't have to use the wheel. You can also use RGB values or HSL. And you look at these two boxes below, so clip and group. I've never used them and I would simply omit them. If you really want to group it and put a frame around the group, it's better to just select it all, then go to object and group it first. And now we'll get back to the extensions. So render frame. And if we click on a live preview now, we've got a frame around the entire group. You can also add this effect to images. Just drag and drop them to your Inkscape artboard and use this render function. So if you want to add it to the group, just select it all, object group. And this is how you can create a frame in Xscape. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.